Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the Making. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Winter Dinners. This week we're making three very yummy crock pot soups. If you are new here, I do content like this all of the time. Every Friday, there is a new Winter Dinners video on my channel, and that's just three new recipes that we have tried that we have deemed winners. They're great, and we do recommend that you try them. So if you are in a dinner rut and you're always looking for new dinner inspiration, this is the place for you. I'm so excited because crock pot week means that I can cook when I have more energy, AKA in the morning. And then at dinner time, it's not like, oh, now we need to cook everything. It's already ready already. But I'm also excited because I am collaborating with a new friend of mine on today's video. I'll tell you more about her later. You may already know her. Her channel is C Mindy Mom, but I'll mention that more in a little bit. Okay, y'all. It is the afternoon of our first crock pot soup. We're gonna go back in time and put this soup in the crock pot. I'm so excited about this one. This is a twist on several different things, I feel like. It's called creamy chicken stew, but it reminds me kind of a chicken pot pie. It also reminds me of chicken and dumplings, just because we're gonna serve it over biscuits. So, I don't know, it just sounds so good. So let's go back to this morning and put it in, and then I'll meet you back here in just a second and show you how I'm gonna be making my biscuits for tonight. So I've got all my veggies chopped, a small onion, two large red potatoes. It called for baby carrots, but I just had regular carrots on hand, so I did two of those, and about a half a cup of celery, which was two stalks of celery. So I have two chicken breasts here that have been cubed. I did use thin cut chicken breast, so I might not have quite as much as I probably should have, but that's okay. I'm gonna season this with salt and pepper and Italian seasoning. Okay, let's go to the crock pot. So I've had my crock pot on low for the past few minutes just to go ahead and warm it up. I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of butter and that's gonna start melting. While that's melting, I'm gonna go ahead and add in about a tablespoon of olive oil as well. Now that our butter has pretty much melted, I'm gonna add in our veggies. So we've got a half a cup of celery, two carrots that I've sliced, two large red potatoes, and one small onion. Let's also add in our chicken, and we're just gonna stir all of this to kind of coat it in that butter and olive oil. Now it's time to make the creamy portion of the soup. I need one cup of whole milk. You could use heavy cream if you wanted to as well, but I would not go with 2% or anything less than whole milk. There are measuring marks on the side of this, so that's one cup. We also need one cup of sour cream, which is pretty much the rest of this container here. A can of cream of chicken soup, and basically a pack of ranch seasoning mix, which is a couple of tablespoons, two to three tablespoons. Now we're just gonna mix all of this together. And the recipe doesn't call for it, but you know. You know how we do. I'm gonna add in a little bit of garlic. Now we're just gonna take our soup mixture and pour it over the top. Let's pop the lid on here, and this is gonna go on low for six to eight hours. I really wanted to just use like Pillsbury canned biscuits just to make it easy, but my grocery store was out of them. They were out of a lot of things, as are a lot of people, a lot of grocery stores right now. There's shortages for sure. They had a few things of cinnamon rolls, a few things of crescent dough, but no biscuits at all. Not even like their brand. Anywho, so I'm just gonna make really easy biscuits. I think I'm gonna make the two ingredient biscuits that the farming pastor's wife shared. I will link her video below. That is if I have enough heavy cream. If I don't have enough heavy cream, then I'll make the five ingredient biscuits that Hillary shared over on Old World Home. I'm gonna link both of those videos below because I've made both recipes several times and they're really good. Okay, I just went and looked. I have a tiny bit of heavy cream left but I do have this thing of whole milk. So we're gonna use the whole milk and do Hillary's five ingredient. So I'm gonna get all of that together and show it to you. Okay, here's our five ingredients. We just need all purpose flour. This is not self rising. Some salt, some baking powder, two thirds a cup of milk, and we do need butter. And normally I use unsalted butter. So I think I'm gonna cut down on the salt. I didn't have any unsalted, I thought I did, but we're gonna make this work. I've got my oven preheating to 450. I'm gonna add in two cups of flour. Now I'm adding in a tablespoon of baking powder. 
The recipe calls for a half a teaspoon of salt. Let me not measure this over that. Um, this is a half a teaspoon measure. I'm gonna do about half of that amount. So about a quarter teaspoon. So I'm just gonna whisk all of this together to combine it. Now we need five tablespoons of cold butter that has been cut into smaller pieces. So let me go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add in our butter. Now the fun part, let me take my rings off. But if you have a KitchenAid stand mixer, you could definitely use that here. But I'm just gonna do this with my hands. I'm just gonna incorporate all of this and just kind of squeeze it together, mush up this butter, and just incorporate it as much as I can. Okay, let's add in our milk. I'm gonna add in 2 thirds a cup. If we need to add more, we will, just like a tablespoon at a time. Again, I'm just gonna go in with my hands. Yeah, I definitely need just a little more milk. Bring it over here to my floured surface. And she did not use, or she doesn't use, a rolling pin. She just kind of folds it over on itself and just flattens it out as she goes. And this should make six large biscuits or maybe 12 smaller biscuits if that's what you're wanting. Got my biscuit cutter. I'm gonna go in and cut these out. So they're about a half an inch thick. Okay, so these are gonna go in at 450 for about 12 to 15 minutes, probably closer to 12. But these are gonna be so good with our stew. So you can definitely tell which one was the leftover. <laughs> But the rest of them, y'all, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that right there. Steven is still not feeling 100%, so he's pretty excited about having soups this week. Mm-hmm, this looks amazing. Mm. Oh yeah, very creamy. Wow, there's a lot of flavor in that uh, soup, sauce, whatever you want to mm -hmm. call it. It's more like a sauce than a soup. Well, yeah, it's it's like, a, I think they called it a stew in the recipe. Okay. But especially mm. pairing it with the biscuit, it makes it more like chicken pot pie almost. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Except the, the flavors, I, I love these flavors, better than I would chicken pot pie. Okay. Um, there's a lot of flavor in the gravy or the stew or whatever. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's kind of like chicken and dumplings meets chicken pot pie. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm going to dig in. This is so good. Mm -hmm. It definitely tastes not like a stew when you have it with the biscuit because the biscuit absorbs a lot of the the stew part so it, it is like a deconstructed chicken pot pie but man this is good we give this two thumbs up cole isn't here mm -hmm. but he's gonna be on his way home here in a little bit and i'm sure he's gonna love this perfect for kind of chilly fall nights or in the winter this is comfort food at its finest okay for our second soup of the week i was looking for some type of vegetable beef crock pot soup but all of them were pretty basic. It was something that I've done all the time in the past, but I happened upon this one and I think it's going to be fantastic. It's a great twist on kind of something I was already planning on doing. It is a Mexican beef soup. So we're gonna be using veggies and then of course beef broth, and then we're gonna be using stew meat instead of just ground beef. And this truly is a dump it all in the crock pot, forget about it, and then come back at dinner time and eat yummy food. Okay, to start out, I've got one pound of stew meat. I'm gonna put this on the bottom. Next, we're gonna add in about three quarters of a pound of potatoes that I have cubed. Two cups of frozen corn. It says that you need to thaw it beforehand, but it's gonna be fine. I did not thaw it. It's been sitting out at room temperature, but we're gonna go with it. Two medium carrots that I chopped. One medium onion that I chopped. Two cloves of minced garlic. 
We're gonna eyeball all of our seasonings today. We need about one and a half teaspoons of oregano, one teaspoon of ground cumin. The recipe calls for a half a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna go in with firecracker sea salt because it just has a smokiness to it, and a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. Two cups of beef broth, and one can of Rotel undrained. Just gonna give that a little bit of a stir. And that's it. We're just going to put the lid on this and let it cook on low for six to eight hours. Okay, so like I mentioned, today's video is in collaboration with C. Mindy Mom here on YouTube. She is a newer friend of mine here on YouTube. One of her videos got recommended to me. I love recommendations from YouTube because I find really great channel channels like hers. But Mindy lives in Oklahoma. She is married. They have three kids. She said when she is not busy being a mom shuttle so that her kids can live their best life. She is always in the kitchen. And if you've ever watched any of her videos, you know she is very budget conscious when it comes to cooking. So if you are on a budget, if you really would like to see how to make a lot of meals on a super tight budget, she's got tons of content like that. So I highly recommend going to check her out. I will link, link her video below and I'll also link her channel below. But make sure when you go over there, you tell her I sent you. You're gonna love her. I've really grown to just love her. She has a great personality and she always brings great content. So this has been cooking for six hours. It's supposed to go six to eight hours, but we're hungry. Hey, we baby. Yeah. We're hungry. We're gonna eat. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Get some of this soup. It smells so good. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That's really good. Yeah. Mm hmm. Strong beefy flavor. Got that beefy okay. flavor going on. Really like how that comes out. That meat that's in there is like melting in your mouth with butter. Oh, good. I'm so glad it's tender. <laughs> yeah, it's really tender. Okay, good. Mmm. A little spice there, not over the top. Okay. Um, I think it's seasoned very well. Do you want any hot sauce? It's like saying, do you need to breathe? <laughs> like all the veggies in there. Look at that big chunk of carrot and potato. Mm -hmm. So this one's a hit, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna dig in because I'm starving over here. The essence of the beef, you know? The essence? Of the beef. That's right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, I did use beef broth too, so that helps. Yeah, I mean, but, it's, it's coming in But that strong, beef really it. almost is just like falling apart. It's so tender. Mm -hmm. I love the flavors of this. This is very reminiscent of just like a vegetable soup, but mm -hmm. with a Mexican twist. This is so good. We are really loving this. This is his second bowl. He went back and got some more because mm. it's just that good. So we highly recommend. Y'all give it a try. Okay, y'all, sadly, it is our third meal of the week. And I say sadly because I have so enjoyed doing crock pot meals. But happily, you know what that means. It means it's subby supper night. So if you are new here, I do subby supper each Friday. It's a segment in my winter dinners videos, but basically my subscribers are my subbies send in one of their favorite recipes and we choose one. We learn a little bit about that subscriber. We share that with you. And then of course we fix it here and do the taste test. The soup that I chose for today was actually submitted back last fall when I did a call for crock pot soups. So that's just to say, if you have sent in a recipe and I have not tried it yet, it doesn't mean I won't ever try it. I do keep all of the emails and I have thousands and I go back through them. I search for keywords in my Gmail account and I'm able to pull these up. So this one was from last fall. This one comes from Kristen and when I emailed her back, she did get back to me, but she said that I did not have to tell y'all anything about her. She just hopes that we enjoyed the meal. Kristen, thank you very much for sharing this recipe with us. I remember it coming through last year and thinking I need to do this and then I forgot about it and then I did this search. So I'm so happy I happened back upon it. It is ham and potato chowder in the crock pot. It has been a minute since I have used my veggie chopper 
and I don't have a ton of chopping to do today, but you know what? We're gonna use it. I'm gonna use the larger size first for my potatoes. We need three cups of cubed potatoes. I'm just gonna be using red, which is what I had on hand. She didn't specify. Okay, I emptied that out. I'm going to change my large blade for my smaller blade. And we're gonna dice this onion and green pepper. Okay, y'all, it is time to assemble. We only need about a cup and a half of diced ham. I bought a package of diced ham, that's what this is, but it's definitely more than a cup and a half, so I'm gonna not use all of it. I think we'll use the rest in omelets. I think that would be a really good use for just this little bit that's left. We need three cups of cubed potatoes, a can of cheddar cheese soup, a can of cream of celery soup, and I did wanna add that she said she got this recipe from a magazine years ago and she's tweaked it over the years to be exactly what they like. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'm not sure what magazine it was, but I love that she's been able to tweak it for their taste. The recipe calls for a can of corn. I'm just gonna use my frozen corn that is still frozen to the bottom of the bowl. My diced onion and diced green pepper. Three to four cups of chicken broth. Three if you want a thicker stew or soup, and then um, four, obviously, if you want it a little bit thinner. Now the recipe calls for salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. All of that is in here, and it calls for about a teaspoon of each onion and garlic powder. So I'll add in a couple of teaspoons, maybe, of this. Now I'm just gonna give this a good stir. And this is gonna cook on low for six to eight hours. And at the very end, we'll come in and add heavy cream and cheese just to thicken it up and make it like that chowder. I think she mentioned doing some crumbled bacon on top as well. Okay, it is much later in the day. It's almost time to eat. Now we're gonna add in some cheese and some heavy cream. I need two cups of shredded cheese, which is pretty much a block of cheese. You want some cheese? She's drooling. You want some cheese? Well, you didn't get it. Wow, that smells good already. It does smell good. We're about to make it better. One cup of heavy cream is going in. And I've already turned this off. It's just on the warm setting now. And two cups of shredded cheese. We're just gonna let that melt and then it's gonna be time to eat. Creamy, potatoey, cheesy, ham chowder. Hammy. Hammy. <laughs> Yes. Oh, wow. That's really good. Yeah? Yeah. Whoa, that's really good. Get a little bit of the sour cream action going on here. Yeah. This is amazing. This is really, really, really good. The um, <clears throat> heavy cream is going to make it creamy, but the cheese, I think, definitely adds oh, yeah. uh, more creaminess to it. And then, but the, the flavoring of the ham, you can tell it's just all okay, in this. Okay, good. So there's lots of rich flavor there. And then... It's got enough salt to really bring that flavor out. Okay. It's really rich flavor for sure. But it's not overly salty. No, not, now, not at all. are you mad about the fact that I forgot to make bacon to put on top of it? No, I'm not. Okay. I mean, would, I'm sure it would add to it, but... It would, but... It's still good without. Yeah. Okay. I mean, these are really, really heavy hitting flavors in this. Awesome. You need to try it. So, really okay. Good. Out of the three soups this week, you've had mm. all three now. Mm. Which one has been your favorite? We had cream, just to remind you, creamy chicken stew. Yeah. We good. had Mexican beef soup. 
And now Man. this ham and potato chowder. <laughs> That's hard. They were both really good. I'm gonna go with this one. Really? I'm gonna go with this one. It's hard to rank them in order. I'd say probably this one and then the, the uh, chicken one. Okay. And then the Mexican one. Okay. Maybe third, I guess, but okay. they're so close. Yeah, they were all, the other two were really good. I haven't tried this one, so. Mm. Kristen, thank you for sending this in. I'm gonna give it a try. I'm sure I'm gonna love it. So I'm gonna go with Steven and rank this is our number one soup for the week. So he just said something that's like really, a really big deal in our house. He said, well, I'm gonna let him finish eating and then I'll let him tell you. <laughs> yeah, I put this up there close to the ham, <clears throat> in par with the hamburger soup. Probably not. Cheeseburger soup. Cheeseburger soup, yeah, the cheeseburger soup. It's a, I think it's a close second. Yeah, it is. I mean, and it's a very similar consistency too, yes. so. Very similar It is similar, yeah. But definitely different flavors. I mean, yeah. the ham is. Yeah, but it's uh, up there. Yeah, it is. He loves, cheeseburger soup is his all time favorite crock pot mm -hmm. soup. And he, when we were eating off camera, he said, this, this ranks up there with it. I said, whoa, that's a big deal. <laughs> I totally forgot to close out the video, so I wanted to jump on here. I'm actually editing the video now and realized I never said goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have not yet checked out Mindy's channel, I'm going to link her channel and video below. Be sure to go do that. She's got some more crock pot soups for you. I think she's doing three as well, three different ones. So go check her out. Tell her I sent you. If you are new here and you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you hit that subscribe button before you go. Leave me a thumbs up and I'll see y'all next week. Bye. <laughs> you look funny. I look funny. Your face is funny. Your face is funny. Okay. okay. Before we started filming just now, I said, do I have anything all over my face? He said, and I quote, yeah, you got something like right here and right here. And I'm like looking at him. And then I realize he's talking about my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to be funny, helpful. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> you didn't lock it down. I did lock it down. No, you didn't. I locked it. No, you didn't.